On all of the internet, there's two things that everyone can agree are funny. Old people and the way that British people speak. In the past few years, there's a few people that have taken advantage of that and have actually made successful music careers out of it. Pete and Bass are two guys in their 70s who have been rapping together since 2017. They've gained a lot of success and honestly, I think that most of it comes down to the meme value of them just rapping over the top of these professionally done beats. Shut your mouth. Chicken and chips in a box. Quick, to the man in the shop. But to be fair, these guys do have genuinely good songs to the point where it even managed to get on Fantano's radar. But what I wanted to do today was to highlight somebody in this rap world who didn't make it as far as Fantano. Somebody who's not as popular as Pete and Bass, even though arguably he has way more meme value than the pair of them. And that person is Norman Payne. <laughs> Norman Payne is a funny little character. Pete and Bass are self-aware enough to know that some of the meme value helps them in their success in their music, whereas Norman Payne just manages to walk that line between reality and irony or just a joke that it's kind of hard to tell if he is even aware that part of what people see him as is a little bit funny in his music, or if this is all just a big act that he's doing. Take his Twitter for instance. Most musicians on Twitter are normally promoting a song, promoting a tour, doing a lot of promotion, whereas Norman treats his Twitter like it's a diary. Some of my favorites include, I don't watch porn, I wank to memories. What the fuck am I supposed to do with a skinny latte? <laughs> you know what, this next one I think you gamers are gonna like a lot considering how much shit you talk on it on the shorts. Just discovered TikTok. What the fuck is going on in the world? <laughs> He's got a couple of other bangers too. They're good, they're good. And this, I guess, level of himself comes across in his music really well as well. And that's what I wanted to show you today. And I thought that there's no better place to start with the music for Norman Payne than where I started with Norman Payne, his very first song. <laughs> With this music video, and it happens with almost every music video he does, the cinematography of it is really good. The opening of this is so artful, and it's really done well, and then there's just a jarring shot of his head. I've never known fear like this Trapped in my own world His look? On fleek. His beer? Can't compete. His ziggy? Probably from the ground on the street. <laughs> I'm trapped in my own world. Jesus. The Jesus line always gets me. It's it's so aggressive. It sounds like he stubbed his toe every time. <laughs> so listening through to this song, you can you can really take this as a soulful piece of music that's just it's just close to him. It feels very personal. And then he starts to rap. Ah! I just popped a pill. Uh, fuck my life. Fuck it. I feel ill. But I know it's not my time. I think one of my favorite lines from this song has to be Do you like weapons? Cause I like fucking stalking. That's closely followed by Locked up blood voices in my head. Through this song though, Norman is actually building up some lore with talking about his wife and kids leaving and I, I guess having schizophrenia, but it's a lot less funny when you say it like that. Ever since my family died, my wife took the kids have fled. Why? For all I know, they're dead. But they're just shit. Into the game of chess. Oh, that bitch can sleep. oh my god, I forgot the guitar when he starts playing the solo. <laughs> After re-watching this, I do really feel like that if they just reworked the lyrics a bit, the themes can work in a pop song. It can work like that. So I'm I'm very excited to see where his career goes. And the next song does not disappoint. <laughs> If you're expecting another soulful song that pulls at your heartstrings from Norman, you're in for a treat. I'm not sure why Norman has a gong that makes a bass drop sound, but knowing Norman, he could have willed it to be so. He could have made the request out into the world and the earth would have shattered, the ground would have parted before him, a demon would have risen and handed it to him himself just to make amends for the hell that he's been through in his life. Pile up the bodies and burn him! Take those graves and burn him! Look at these, you don't deserve him! I really hope that Norman is doing well and stopped tweeting 
thing because he's been busy and not because of anything to do with the line. Fucking Pfizer! Needles, blood, and lies! Kamikaze, Pearl Harbor, Nagasaki, and Twin Towers! Like at the time, get the bullet to rain on kids while you're shoveling powder! I'm well endowed! I think he just rapid fired every tragedy he could think of. Followed by then saying he also has a massive dick. <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a loss for words with this music video. I think Norman is just a man who has a lot of things that he needs to get off of his chest. I will listen to anything. I will, I will be there and just... Whatever it needs to say, whatever he needs to say, I will listen to. Again, the cinematography for this is incredible. That opening sequence is actually like, it's so well done. Most movies could barely be able to pull that off as well as he did. Also, the shots in the Asda were insane. Oh, I forgot to do this. Does this even... I forgot to do that. We're gonna do one more Norman Payne song now, but if you do enjoy them, please go and watch the rest of them on his channel. He's done seven that are public. He's deleted a few, because there used to be some other ones. There was one where he referenced the 17 years that he spent in prison, <laughs> and he was covered in blood and had an RPG. So I don't know what happened to that one, but... Keep, keep an eye on his channel. There might be some songs that pop up and disappear. They're all amazing. They're great. <laughs> This next song felt like a return to form for Norman. It's a lot less angry and a lot more soulful and it feels a lot more personal. I can't tell if I'm joking when I say that or if I genuinely believe it. I think it's a mix of both. The verse comes in and it's such an emotional song, but I just, I can't, I can't help but laugh. Like it's, it's Norman. It's classic Norman. We've got Norman back. Voices in my head saying that I need to leave. It's me. So he's got a hanging microphone that he's singing around and I'm just really curious on how it's hanging up like that. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really interested to see how that would have worked. After watching this full video and listening to the song, I'm more confused than ever if Norman is this meme value or if this is an actual person and we're just watching him tell his story through music. Especially that last screen. There's just something about having that message come up. It feels really personal. It's almost convinced me that 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 is more convincing than anything I've seen so far that maybe there's something more to this than haha Pete and Bass but I'm Mr. Payne. And with the law kept in mind of his wife taking the kids and leaving him maybe this song is about his kids again based on that last screen or just even based on the chorus. The fact that he's blurred the city that the post office is in makes me think that this is real because I know that if for me, if I was doing this, I would drive an hour away and film those shots there and not blur them because I can still have it there and people will still think I'm there, but it's an hour away from where I live. But he's chosen to blur them, which makes me think that this is his local post office. And also the family photo that's on the ground at the beach, that blur and pixelated blur, that stays for a few frames more than it should. That makes me think that it wasn't Norman who put this in originally. This was added in after the fact. To me, it gives me more credibility that this might actually be real. It's almost like he's posted it and then gone, ah, maybe I shouldn't have this family here or someone's gotten upset. Maybe his wife messaged him and was like, why have you done this? To me, it just seems like that is just those couple of frames of the blur being there longer than it should gives it this air of realism when that happens. Look, I could be completely wrong. It could be all a meme. I thought it was all a meme until a few minutes ago, but the more I talk, the more I'm convincing myself. <laughs> Norman Payne is a funny little character. He has popped up from out of nowhere. Arguably, he's had some help from Pete and Bass, but it's nowhere near to the point where his whole career is based around that fact alone. The fan base that he has built is actually something that most artists would die for. Having Pete people who are so committed to you and to what you're doing, that is an extremely special thing that Norman's been able to build and most people would never have that. And you know what? If you're posting music and you've got fans that are loving every single second of it, that makes you an artist. It's like an old pink guy trope where in one of his songs he said something like, Bro, I don't even know real fake music existed. I mean, I think it's like your fault for putting that shit into categories. Like, music is music. If you don't think this is real music, that's your fucking problem. 
regardless of what you think of it, he's making songs. He's making music and people are liking it. I genuinely listen to his songs in the car and have shown my friends these songs. Yes, for the meme factor, but also I can just sit there and listen to it. And we do sometimes because it's genuinely good. And if he's got people that are connecting to the music that he's making and are coming back on repeat listens because they do like the song, he's an artist. He's a rapper. He's managed to make that for himself. This video felt like I could have been doing some CSGO surf and commentated over the top of it, which honestly probably would have saved me a lot of time time and would have saved me waking up at 8 a.m. to record this. But we did it like this instead. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. I've been Sini. Have a good rest of your day or night. <laughs>